Hello YouTube, this is 6969 here with another quick overview. This time, as you can see, it's going to be on a Colt. Uh, the details of this this pistol was, I went into a, a shop and I intended on buying a uh, Springfield mil-spec in stainless. As soon as I walked in, the, uh, the person at the counter said, hey, is there anything I can help you with? And, you know, I said, yeah, I'm looking for a stainless 1911, preferably a, a Springfield G, like GI or mil-spec. And uh, I had my my mind and heart set on buying the Springfield because a couple of days before I tried to get the Colt and the uh, the Colt Gold Cup was was sold out. Turns out this is the same exact Colt that I was holding before that somebody had bought and when he brought it home his wife tried to shoot him with it. So he came back and sold it pretty much that next day and. My, my luck had to have been up because as soon as I walked in the store, they said that it had only been on the shelf for four hours or so. And had I not sold my two Glocks prior to this, like, I wouldn't have had this gun. So I'm definitely amazed that my luck worked out for me this time. But anyways, I'll get on to showing you guys the pistol so you guys can see what the, uh, the Colt comes with. Obviously, it doesn't have the standard grips on it right now, but... These are the uh, the grips that my wife bought me for Valentine's Day, which they're actually solid pewter, so they actually give the gun a nice heavier feel to it. So that way, when you're you're shooting it, it takes a little bit of that recoil away, and it, it feels really good. But uh, anyways, this is my range pass that I got for it, and then underneath it's just uh, the regular manual that you'll get with your your Colt. There's the uh, the barrel plug, and here are the grips that are the wraparound ones that the Colt Gold Cup Stainless comes with. I mean, obviously, if you get the uh, the other the Colts, the uh, Gold Cup trophy matches, they're all going to come with these kind of grips. But I was I don't know if I was lucky or if they all come with it, but it came with an additional Colt stamp mag. I heard that normally they only come with one, but uh, I was lucky to to get two. I don't know if the guy before me just bought two of them, but anyways, that's that. And then onto the pistol. I mean, there isn't a, a single mark on it when I got it. So, I mean, I'm definitely pleased that it didn't have the idiot mark here or anything. It pretty much came like you would get it brand new because he only had it for about a couple days. But, uh, I pretty much got it because I'm a Colt fan and I've been wanting a Colt ever since I was little. I've always wanted a World War II one, but obviously people want like three or 4000 for those for a gun that I can get brand new for, you know, half the price. And, uh, I was actually very lucky. These things normally run for like 1300 retail. But when I when I walked in there and it had the used sticker on it, I, there was no chance in my mind that I was gonna walk out of there without buying this thing. And uh, for like I think it was ten sixty nine sixty nine or ten sixty nine ninety nine or something like that, I walked out with this beautiful Colton stainless that I have here, which I was definitely pleased to walk away with. Mainly because for me, I love Colts and I love you know the history behind them, and also. The reason I love the uh, the Colt Gold Cup Trophy is that it has the rear serrations that I absolutely love when they run diagonal, but it doesn't have them on the front here, which I am so glad this doesn't because I, I hate the people that feel that the, the tacticalness of the, uh, the serrations in the front actually are supposed to help, but I've found that I never cocked the, the gun from the front, so there's no point in it for me. And anyways, I, I think it looks much cleaner without having anything on the, the front of a GI model. So, this is your, your 5 inch government model, the Colt Gold Cup Stainless, as you can see by the serial it says GT, well GCT actually. Uh, the only thing that I don't really like about the pistol from the start that you know I'll clearly state is the sights, because 9 times out of 10 when you go to a range they have black on black targets and you know trying to aim with just black sights is kind of a, a nuisance. but. That's easily fixed. I mean, you could just take nail polish or something to the front tip, and then, you know, you'll have one dot, but I heard that's more accurate than having all, like, three dots anyway. But other than that, I mean, there's really no problems with the gun that I would change. I mean, I might change and add some color by painting all these black or get black parts to put on here, but for the most part, I'm, I'm very pleased with the, the way this thing looks, even without having to do any modification to it. And the beaver tail, it's all metal. All this is metal. Normally it's plastic on these things, but it's definitely not. I mean, even the sights, 
have the, the Colt mark on it, which I don't know if you can see, but there's the kicking Colt. And it's even written on the side here. It's got all your markings of a Colt, so, I mean, you know that this thing is definitely authentic, which is all I really care about, honestly. But, uh, as for the, the weight, I would definitely say it's a little heavier than your standard 1911, like my SIG XO, which I actually have here for you guys to see. It feels a little bit lighter, but that could just be because I have the pewter grips on my, my Colt right now because they do add a pretty good amount of weight, but it feels amazing. And uh, honestly, the, the way they feel in your hand, it, it doesn't really, these little bumps don't really get in the way, so it feels, feels really nice. This is a... Uh, this isn't an ambidextrous model, so as you can see, it's just you know got the the one safety right here. And I don't keep any of my guns with any ammunition in them, so I'm not going to do a safety check. There's really no point because everybody should know whether or not their firearms have something in them or not. I know rule is to you know treat every firearm like it's loaded, but I know that this one hasn't been. So it's been like this since I bought it, and nobody's in my closet, so and my wife's afraid of gun so she won't mess with it but anyways the trigger pull on this thing is amazing like it I've seen other 1911s where you got a little bit of pull but I kid you not this thing has like a hairpin pull just like the uh, the XO comes so I mean for the deal that you're getting with these two 1911s that I have the SIG is definitely the better deal because you're getting all the stuff that's on this thing with a few additions to the uh you know the functionality of the the pistol so if I were to go for value I'd definitely go with the SIG but you know for those of you who love Colts and love the traditional look of a 1911 you're more likely to want the Colt but uh anyways I'll show you the, the trigger pull on these things because it's it's so light and you're, you're not gonna believe it you'll hear it as soon as it clicks but uh I mean there's really nothing to it like that's the travel distance right there. There's like nothing to it. And uh I'll show you with the uh the XO so you guys can see that it's clearly got the same amount of pull to it. Which just so you know, this is all empty too, so don't worry about it. But I mean, there's really no pull needed for these things to go off, which is amazing. So that's definitely you know, a perk to all these guns, especially if you're going to sit there in the range and shoot a few rounds, you're, you're going to want a light pull so you're not wearing out your, your finger and all that stuff. But uh, the only additions that I would like on the Colt, which I'm not really too concerned that it doesn't have right now, are like the front and back straps having, you know, the check ring, like the, uh, the XO comes with, which is why I said this is somewhat of a better deal. Because it comes with everything that my Colt has, you know, plus the, uh, the front and rear straps having the... 25 dpi so all in all i would say the colt's amazing because when you pull this thing back it, it just the cocking on this thing is just it's fluid but uh if you look at this the fit is it's really good i mean there's nothing there's no real separation on it there's no racking of the slide you know to make any wobble noises i mean that's just it's, it's an amazing colt i know pretty much colt stands by their quality so if you do have a messed up cold, it wouldn't be too much to just send it in and get it all repaired. But, I mean, this thing is, like, I could almost do it one-handed, just pulling the slide all the way back. So, if you get a cold, you're not going to be, you know, unsatisfied, that's for sure. But, uh, overall, I would have to say it's one of my favorite firearms, mainly because it's a Colt. <laughs> I mean, there's really nothing about it, you know, other than that. I would say that if you're going to try to go for quality though, I mean there are other 1911s out there for half the price that'll get the job done and maybe even have a perk or two more than the, the Colt will, but as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing better than a Colt, so that's just my, my look on it because I'm definitely a Colt fan and one of my dreams were to have a, a Colt 1911, so dream fulfilled at the moment. <laughs> But uh, anyways, I hope that got, helped you guys out, you know, so you can kind of see what the, the Colt comes with, you know, or at least what mine came with. I don't know if yours will come with the same stuff, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of, like, how I felt about the Colt compared to, you know, even my other 1911, which hopefully it helps you out a little bit. If you have any questions, though, definitely, definitely ask. 
but this video is mainly just to kind of show the the pistol so you can kind of get an idea of what it what it looks like in the stainless version but for me I know I like seeing the gun as much as I can before I go out and buy it so that, that way I don't waste so much time sitting in the shop just you know fondling guns and stuff not that that's a problem but anyways this is your Colt gold cup trophy And obviously, you can't own a 1911 that isn't chambered in 45 ACP. So, obviously, that's the round that this thing is going to put through its barrel. So, and the, uh, I guess one of the cool things to note also is that it does have fully adjustable target sights. Not that that's traditional to a 1911, but, you know, if you're going to use this as your keep on a display or shoot it rarely and want it to be as accurate as possible having the target sights is definitely a plus but uh, anyways if you guys have any questions man like I said feel free to feel free to post them otherwise I'm pretty much done with the quick overview alright guys take it easy